for foremost, I want to ensure that public education is fully funded and supported in our county. Uh, the education our children receive is the root of all other things in our community. Without that foundation, we will not progress. Second, I want to focus on economic development and job creation. This is a complex issue with many facets, but as I have gotten out and talked to business leaders and people in this community, I've identified at least three areas where I think we can make some positive changes. Regional cooperation is something that I'm committed to and that I think will promote development. I've also begun studying and if elected will reach out to those in charge in other communities that have been successful in promoting businesses to analyze the incentives and approaches they've taken to draw in new business. Also, I think the idea of creating an ombudsman position in each district to help smooth the process for business owners who are currently frustrated by complications and delays is something that deserves consideration. Uh, the third focus of my campaign is promoting quality of life issues such as greenways, parks, and environmental protection. These are the things that promote a sense of community, promote health, promote what is beautiful and unique about our valley. <laughs> Well, you know, when I went to, for the interview with the Chamber of Commerce, it's who they were going to support. Said, well, that's the newspaper. The question they asked was, do you support Greenways? And I gave them the answer I gave you all a while ago. You know, they're great for the people who live near them and use them. To my, arms, to my humble opinion is that Greenways ought to be mostly supported by the people that use them, rather than all the rest of the people in the county who don't use them. And, you know, that, to me, Explore Park is a lot more important than the Greenways. Explore Park is 1,100 acres that we have turned over to a private developer who has no money, but he wants to turn it into a commercial Dollywood type development. So here we are, Roanoke County, proud of the highest tax rate in the state. And, oh yeah. We got a swimming pool on this side of town, and we got a Dollywood on the other side of town. You know, that doesn't make sense to me. I think Rock Explore Park should be taken completely out from under government control. Obviously, Ed and I disagree on this issue. Uh, the Party Regional Partnership is, is trying to promote, to connect the greenways from West Renwick County through Salem, through Renwick City, through Explore Park, all the way to Franklin. On not wanting Explore Park to become a theme park, I think that was a terrible decision. I, I don't agree with turning it over to either control. Um, I think that would be a mistake. I think we need to see it being used for conservation and educational purposes. We have gone down in our allocation of tax dollars to the school system. If we could change that ratio, the schools are the most important, along with, with our, our safety personnel. Uh, what we need in, in the county at this point is that spending has gone way beyond the normal scope of the county government. And so what's required is somebody with the expertise to look at contracts. As far as uh, previous work experience, I have worked as a realtor, have negotiated real estate deals, often with difficult parties from different walks of life. Um, I see one of my personal strengths as a teacher and as a parent is um, being a good communicator, being able to reach people and seeking compromise. Uh, as, as far as having the time to do this job, uh, luckily I have a lot of 